Welcome to Forex Edge. We're going to talk about one of our two trading systems. Most of our traders are familiar with our XCOP or 3 trading system, but we also have a trading system called our Market Watch trading system. This trading system is designed for swing traders and longer term trading. The scalping system is basically designed to catch between 5 to 15 pips per trade, depending on market conditions. This system is set for or designed for swing traders, even day traders, people that need a little bit more out of a trade and more of a set and forget type of trading as well. Once the trading conditions align, and here we have an excellent example of an Aussie yen trade that is setting up for us. Once the conditions are aligned and ready for us to go, we can then place our trade and set our take profit and our stop. And I'll explain to you how that works. The basic idea, if we go back to our XCOP or 3 trading system, by now you're probably very familiar with this software and you understand how it works. We can also see there's a sell signal on the Kiwi yen right now on the XCOP or system. Basically, you look at the blue line, this little light blue line or aqua blue line, however you want to call it. And once it gets up into the dark green or the dark red, when it gets into the dark green, you sell it. And when it gets into the dark red, you buy it. The market watch system is exactly the same, except you're going to use a dark blue line. Same idea. When the dark blue line gets up into the dark green, you sell it. If one gets down into the dark red down here, you would buy it. The only condition, just like the XCAPR software, is if the, the global trend value, this purple line, it's the same on both systems. You can see it's purple here and purple here. If this purple line ha were in the green area, we would need one of these two lines to also confirm. We would need secondary confirmation. We'd need the swing cycle to confirm for us or the ATR speed to confirm for us. As long as one of those are up in the dark green as well. See how right now we've got the swing cycle for the Kiwi Yen up in the dark green. That in and of itself is not a trade signal, but if the blue were up there with it and the purple was in the green, that would be secondary confirmation. Hopefully that makes sense. These systems are very easy to use. Please try not to overcomplicate them. The way that we set our take profit and our stop order is we open up the ATR grid. And here's our ATR grid, and we're actually going to make a little more user-friendly version of this soon. Uh, but for right now, this one works just great. So what we want to do is we want to look at this, and we say, okay, so we've got a sell position right now on the Aussie N. So we entered our trade. And now we want to try to figure out what our stop is. We go over here to the Aussie N, and I like to use the 30-minute values. So we're going to place our stop 18 pips. Like I said, we'll have a more user-friendly version of this for new traders so they understand how these ATR values work. But the ATR value, you always drop the last decimal. So it's actually 18.2. So I would use 18 for my stop, and then I would use 36 for my take profit. That would be my take profit. If, however, this purple line were pointed down here, in other words, this was a consolidation against the trend, and now we're moving back in the direction of the trend, I would probably use the 60 minute values and I would place my stop at 28 and then my take profit would be 52 or 56 rather. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, if you have any questions at all, please open up a support ticket, but it's very simple. One times the 30 minute ATR value for your stop, two times the ATR value for your take profit. And again, if you're trading back in the direction of the trend, in this case we're not, we're just trading a short consolidation, you can use the 60 minute value. I'll get into how we can use the four minute and daily values in another video, but in short, that's how you use this system. Again, it's very simple, don't try to overcomplicate it. Basically, it's comprised of three parts. Think of the swing trade, this blue line is your trigger, that tells you when to enter the trade. The purple is your warning to let you know if you're trading against the trend or with the trend. If the global trend value is extended with the blue line, then you need secondary confirmation, either the swing cycle or the ATR speed. You'll never get all three. If you have all three, or actually all four, uh, make sure that you're not trading around news. Remember, we do not want to trade around news. And stay away from central bank alerts. Central banks 
tend to move the market a little bit farther than markets are used to going. So trading tools kind of go out the window during heavy news releases and central bank releases. And if you're wondering what a heavy news release is, if you go to dailyfx.com and use their calendar, anything that's marked as high on their calendar, I would consider a heavy news release. That's it. A very simple system to use, just like our Excalibur. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. And again, just like all of our other movies, I'm adding this disclaimer to all of our movies. Uh, we are going to improve these movies at some point, but I'm trying to get basic instructional movies out so that we can get these tools in the hands of our traders. Thanks.